<laughs> that's 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 tight and right, bro. So we got what do we got here, dude? We got a bunch of lengths of tubing. Yeah, we need some more tubing, dude. More tubing. <laughs> um, precision tube laser doesn't have the capabilities of radiusing the the roof line that we're going for. Uh -huh. And since we're doing a Volkswagen bug body, um, we're gonna need to obviously. We want it to contour the body. That's the way you designed it, and that's the way we wanted it to look. So, uh, Hell yeah. in order to get that look and make this something different, which no other, I feel like, TT platform has, that's what we're here to do with uh, Cal West Manufacturing and uh, LSK. They've got some sick builds around here. It looks like these guys. Yeah, are these guys are all into the off-road scene. Yeah. We got check this thing out. This is their. I think this is our striker chassis, I believe, that they built all in-house. Super cool. Is it? Hey, dude. I didn't see the corner. He said it's way too long. Too long? I haven't heard that before. Oh, dang. So, what do we got going? These guys built this loader themselves here. Aaron, the owner, designed this thing with a robot arm. So, it actually will pick up the tubes from here, load it into the laser with a push of a button. So, I'm excited to see this thing work. Are you excited to see the robot arm? Ro yeah. Yeah. West Manufacturing and LSK. Uh, this is their facility. They got all kinds of laser machines and robots and CNC machines and doing all kinds of cool stuff. So you want to give us a little uh, tour yeah, of what yeah. you got so going on? We have a fiber tube laser here um, and then we have a, a robot loading it mm -hmm. uh, just so the guys don't pick stuff up off, off the ground. So we okay. load it up back there uh, on the rack and then uh, uh, we've got a little uh, touch screen over here that he presses and it, it'll pick up the tube um, right off the rack. Oh, yeah, this is fucking rad. I can't wait to see this thing working, man. So you designed all this yourself yeah, to yeah, make this work. Put it together on the fly. You're a madman, dude. Thanks. <laughs> all built in-house and programmed robots. Robot arms and lasers. Robots, man. <laughs> Control panel. So this is your, this is your newer one, right? Yeah, yeah, you just guys just got this one recently. Yeah, yeah. It's super compact compared to the, the big truck but yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, it's well, it's done, yeah. Yeah, well, the quality looks good. I mean, shoot, I don't know much about lasers, but... Uh, <laughs> They're fucking cool, though. So, so you got... second tube laser actually built this one in college. Yeah, that's what, I remember you telling me that. So you built this whole thing. That's crazy, dude. This one, the CO2, is a little bit older technology, but the cut right. is super clean on it. And, uh, yeah. That's so rad. <laughs> that is so cool. Yeah, so we have a water dealer there, we just want a water dealer to cut up for like 10 inches. 10 inches thick aluminum. 
10 inch. 10 inch thick aluminum so you can cut on that water jet. That's crazy. You guys got two? Yeah, we have two full kilowatt of monoplane lasers, and then we have a two monoplane person there as well. That's sweet. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so basically, the machine starts out like this. Yeah. Goes through the laser, press brake, and then they're also put inserts in them? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, Let me see what they finished with last night. Hmm? Let me get you up on there, dude. So from plate, obviously, the slicing and dicing on lasers. Yep. And then you guys take these. Those look like some uh, Polaris yeah, XP Pro doors. They are. Yeah. Cause those look exactly like the doors on my XP <laughs> Pro, dude. Yep. That's what's up. Yep. You see that? We could we could spot out what we're looking at. <laughs> And then they come over here to you guys' press brake. Yep, yes, we have two press brakes over here. That's um, the piece that attaches to the door. Exactly. Yep. Exactly, yeah. That's clean, dude. You don't see any any uh, any bend marks either on there. Do you guys have like special dyes to yeah, so we use like a urethane sheeting that we put on the bottom of the die and that makes it so it keeps it from scratching. Gotcha. So when that when it's called out by the customer, then we have we have some ARM guards that were time savered for a grain finish and then uh, we'll go through and bend them and put them in so bing bing. Just like that. That's good. Easy money, dude. Easy money, man. That's that's sweet, dude. That's just awesome. And then you guys got some. Uh, you guys got capabilities of also putting nut certs. Now I see that there's there's tapered holes. Yeah. Right here. So are those all done by hand? Yeah. So uh, those are done by hand, but we have a bridge port over there. Just we set it up to the depth, and we just go through and power sink them. We also have a tapping arm, so if we have to tap some holes, it comes through nice and straight. That's awesome, man. You guys also, I, I saw someone over here putting these inserts in. So yeah, these are just, nuts, yep. that's, uh, that's a beautiful thing. Thanks. Those are always, uh, those are always fun until they, until you cross thread them. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and then, and then, you know, it's, it's, yeah. then, you know, it's, it's tight until you got to take it out, right, right, but right. just run it in dog. Yeah. <laughs> Once you start, you can't stop. <laughs> Well, sick. I know uh, those boys are getting some programming done, and then we're gonna slice them too. Yeah. Um, take a look at the vendors going Yep. After we slice that too, we're gonna move on over here to uh, this bender. Who uh, who manufactures this machine? Oh, uh, this is a machine called uh, from Soco. It's a custom order machine to do exactly what we need to do. <laughs> how many uh, how many dies do you guys have? What are your capabilities uh, of, we of radius? From uh, one inch all the way up to two inch. But is capable up to two and a half inch diameter nice. and down to a quarter inch diameter. We have a die for it. So I, it's cool. Down, uh, down here is the bending and then up here is the rolling. This whole thing will move up and down when we're working on it. That's and then sick. everything is all automatically clocking. That's pretty epic. So you guys have a good idea obviously on what your spring back might be and uh, and all that but uh, we're gonna <laughs> We're gonna figure it out. We have some really long radiuses to put. How long is that radius on the, the top A pillar tube? Uh, it's about eight feet. Eight the feet long? Tube from, yeah. Damn. So it's gonna have the bend from the top of the A, and then the radius all the way back to the back of the chassis. One continuous, smooth motion. That is not easy to do. And uh, if we had to do that by hand with two inch 120, bro, <laughs> oh my yeah. God. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so we're going to use a mandrel as well so that it keeps the nice and centric as it goes through the bend. It's really nice. And we program right out of the solid works for the tube. The 3D model, the tube's going to pop up on the screen right there. And we're going to do a couple of bend rolls and then we'll be good to go. Next level. Next step, slicing and dicing that tubing and then throwing her in the roller. Uh, it's time to get dirty.
That's so sick. Freaking robots. So this thing just loaded the tube. Okay, so this is essentially just for the bender to have meat on it for the bender to grab so it can push it through. Yep. And yeah. then once you're done, snap it off. We've all been there with a JD Square bender <laughs> where you're trying to bend something and you're like, shit, I'm trying to save material for the tail of the bender right. and uh, yeah. I'm fucked up and I'm <laughs> Well, that would have happened if I was doing this operation. <laughs> It is, it's, it just blows my mind. Like, programming, it's like Terminator shit, dude. <laughs> Whatever knowledge this guy has in his brain, if everybody had it, oh, there'd be Terminator. Really cool, man. Really cool. <laughs> Rolling out to go get some other material for the shop build out while these guys are putting down some work. And look who it is IMS. IMS material or IM industrial metal <laughs> supply. Um, Hooking you know, these guys up with a lot of stuff, it looks like. Bro. Dude. Look at all this chromoly, DOM, square stock. Just stacks of tubing. We <laughs> had to run a little errand. What, what are you laughing at, dude? Uh, I think we need more 2 by 4s <laughs> <laughs> We got a freaking unicorn horn off of the damn back of this thing. So, sketchy operation number 69 this month. <laughs> 69, more like 6,969. Let's see. Oh, he's over here bending. We're back. What up? Wait till you see this sketchy. Uh, we're hoping we didn't miss it all. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. You did the test bend already then for the. Yeah. Damn, that was Look at that. The bumper for the back. It's ready to go. This was attached to the roll piece. Slapped it on the ground and they broke right off. That's fucking sick. So you can roll the whole piece. Yeah. All the way all the way to the notch. That's fucking nice. So it goes pretty close to the center. So this will give gives them a baseline of where the radius is at, and they can make adjustments from there. It's that's pretty sick. nifty. Yeah. So as you can see, that's about 75, 75 degrees. Just like that. Here, check that out. So you can see where the line is, the indicator for your. Your, your side to side and your distance front to back. Run that bad boy. So it's a mirror, so it's spinning in 180? 180 spin. Shink! Shink! Probably the A hoop. Over the top. Dang. Yeah. Yeah. 